In the last video, we simply checked the HTTP response code is what we expected. In this video, we will look at ways to check that some text in the HTTP response is correct. First, let's explore our application in Swagger to see what we expect to get back. Make sure that the video game DB application is running and then browse to localhost 8080 swagger UI index.html. We are going to call the get specific video game API endpoint with JSON for the game with ID 1. We can see this is the response body that we get back. We will then write a check in our Gatling script to make sure that the name of the game is Resident Evil 4. To make this check, we will write a simple JSON path query. But first, we need to work out what our JSON path syntax should be. In Google, browse to jsonpath.com. Copy the response body from Swagger to the JSON field. Under JSON path syntax, write $.name. We can see on the right hand side that it has found the name of the game. You can use this site to practice your JSON path syntax. To learn more about JSON path, go here. Back in our project, let's create a new Gatling script. As usual, right click on simulations, choose new Scala class, give it a name of check response body and extract. As normal, extend the class of the base simulation and add in the two imports. Now let's start writing our scenario. Type foul scn equals scenario, then type get specific game, then type dot get video games forward slash one. Finally, type dot check json path dollar dot name is Resident Evil 4. Only the last line contains new code for us here. We are doing a check again, but this time we are looking for a JSON path in our response body. We give the JSON path query and the response text that we expect. Let's finish as normal by adding in the load scenario. Again, we will copy the one from the previous example so that we just have a single user. Now we can run our test. Open up the Gatling runner and change the name of the sim class to check response body and extract. Make sure the video game DB is running. Then right click on main and choose run Gatling runner. The test runs and passes. To make sure the test is working, let's change the JSON path expression to Resident Evil 5. Run the test again. This time, the test fails and gives us an error, as expected. Change the expression back to the correct one now. In this video, we learned how we can use JSON path to check for some expected text in our response body. In the next video, we will look at how we can extract some data from the response body into a variable and then use that variable in a subsequent call in our Gatling script.